Hi, so I'm here with Christina today. Hi, Christina. Hi. Um, it's been amazing working with you because you are just such a superstar. And I just wanted to go ask you a couple of questions sure. about, you know, our time together. So we got um, together several months ago and originally you came in because you were having headaches and mm -hmm. brain fog and IBS and reflux and just weren't feeling good. Can you describe like what was going on in your life? Um, I actually felt dead. Coming in here, I felt broken. I had um, everything that you said was how my life, how I lived my life for actually a few decades. Wow. And thought, but I dealt with it when I was, you know, 30 and 40 and and it got to the point that it, there was no, there was no feeling good on one day and not the other. It was just perpetual. It was your normal. That was my norm. That was my norm. Mm. And I thought, oh my God, this is it. Um, I was depressed. I thought I, I need, I must need to retire and this is going to be the end of what I thought would have been a much happier, fulfilling life. And I am a totally different person now. Wow. I am, I've lost over 46 pounds because when I went on the scale the other day, I generally don't even go on the scale anymore. Um, and it's, because I don't look at that as a goal. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just a nice side benefit of getting it healthy. It is. It, it's a side benefit of a mind shift and of just a, a totally different way of looking at life. Right. So I remember when we first got together and we did some labs and there was some concern on your part about yeah. getting labs done. You want to just describe that a little bit? Because a lot of people have that, that fear of, I don't want to know what's going on kind of right. thing. Um, I wasn't surprised when... It came back terrible in like five major areas. <clears throat> I, I shouldn't say what I was. I was a little surprised, but not because I just felt terrible. Um, I didn't think at first that really anything could be done, and I thought, okay, working with you, I would be able to maybe feel a little bit better every other day. And yeah. I was very anxious about redoing the, the labs mm -hmm. because I thought I have what if failed it's no yeah. so many times. Like when you think of the, doing Weight Watchers and Nutrisystem and all these different things. And again, this was not, this is not a diet. It mm -hmm. was not to come here to lose weight. <clears throat> what was your expectation? When you first came, what did you what did you think we were going to do? My hope, because I was so bad with the with my like IBS type of problem, my hope was that I wouldn't feel so anxious about eating because I'd have to go to the bathroom, mm. and that yeah, you become a prisoner and you know from with, I, with food. Absolutely, yeah, no, I know you described that. At one I point. actually had it timed in the morning when I could eat. So I can go to the bathroom before I went to work. And if I knew I got up late, I wouldn't eat because I was a f I had a fear of then having to go to the bathroom while I was at work. And it was terrible. Yeah, I creates a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. Which so, it dealt with the anxiety. Right. It just kept it kept it kept like perpetuating each thing. The physical piece caused the emotional piece and the emotional piece caused the continuing physical right. piece. But when we got those labs back, what we found really was your gut was really upside down. You had a, something called gut dysbiosis, right? Abnormal bacteria overgrowth, which was a big deal. And you had you were pre-diabetic, mm -hmm. and you had uh, very very high levels of in inflammation in the body. Okay. And then we just redid the tests, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and when I, I texted you and said, you know, I got your test back. What was your first reaction? It was I, pretty. I my stomach flipped, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, I'm that's it. I failed. 
I'm, I bet you I'm a diabetic now. And when, which blew my mind because I, I know I, you know, listen, we've been meeting every yeah. week and I knew how well you've been doing. So I didn't have any of those concerns. I knew that you were going to be better, but, but it think, surprised me that you snap back to the old way of thinking for a second absolutely. and had that fear, right? And I think that's why working with you and Dr. Lauren has been so successful because you really can't do one without the other. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, but knowing that she's supporting me with the way I'm thinking about myself and, you know, strategies on, on how to deal with life and mm -hmm. and you supporting me on the on the other side but i was blown away right so i mean just to just to share a little bit like we had a very high level of something called high sensitivity crp which is like cardiovascular inflammation mm -hmm. and it went from being very abnormal to being perfect we had you were pre-diabetic and your a1c went down to 4.9 mm -hmm. um you know you're your um, inflammatory numbers as far as like your autoimmune issues, which were very, very high, are virtually perfect. No, and not very, very high. They were scary high. Yeah. So, so, you know, it's it's amazing what the body can do when you give it what it needs and take away what's yes. hurting it, right? So right. you just had a recent meeting with your rheumatologist. What, what did the rheumatologist the say? The rheumatologist could not believe. She kept looking at the results. And then did her exam, and then she actually, like at the end of the exam, like she leaned up against the counter and she said, I just have to ask you, how did you do this? <laughs> I have never seen this done. And then she wanted other blood tests to be done because she said, well, we'll do the blood test because this could be like a false, like a false <laughs> yeah, like, you know, it could be a fluke. And the phlebotomist who was taking the blood for in her office when she found out the results she was asking me because she was like i'm trying to get my kids to eat better blah, blah, blah. um and when i went over just went over the blood results of that that's all no yeah it was normal. not a fluke it yeah. is 100 percent substantiated mm -hmm. i have i'm a first grade teacher and my energy level for the last seven years has been going like this to the point where I, I would go, I don't know if I can do this another year. My energy level is as if I am 28 years old. I remember in the summertime when you said, um, usually toward the end of the summer, I basically stop all social activity yeah. because I start stressing about going back to school. And that was, that was really interesting that you didn't have that this year. Ever. First time ever that I, Labor Day weekend, we went out. Mm -hmm. We socialized. My approach to life, to the things in my life, is much calmer, more positive, and happy. Mm -hmm. Truly, this has... I can't even say given me back my life because I never had as good a life as I'm having now. Wow. You know, when you, when you fix the gut and you shift the mindset and you create hope and you work hard, anything is possible. You know, your body has the ability to heal itself. Mm -hmm. You know, what you did was really take control, mm -hmm. got your mind in the right place and just followed through and was consistent and now, like, how much weight did you drop? I am almost 50 pounds. That is just unbelievable. Yeah. And 50 incredible. pounds, and I started with you on May 7th. And what is today? October 20th? Yeah, so five and a half months. Yeah. You know, it's most people don't believe that it's possible, you know, but and what would you say to those people? <clears throat> I would say you must believe. And we talked about belief, you and I have talked mm -hmm. about belief, right? And like, you give that power away to people, right? And um, you have to just, look, listen, if there's anyone else that was like me, that was at totally their last straw, <clears throat> 
what what is it to hurt <laughs> you're at your last store anyway mm -hmm. but you need to have that therapy and you together mm -hmm. i think is a perfect combination yeah it's integrative absolutely you know and this is you know this is like a big part of what i'm doing with the same here organization you know when we work with with mental health and we work with, you know, hand in hand with psychologists, but if we don't fix the underlying physiological problems, when you have inflammation, your brain's on fire. And if your brain's on fire, how do you think you're gonna, you know, have normal cognition yeah. and normal so emotions? I am gonna share something I know, mm. you know, on video, I'm totally fine with saying this. I have, I've had trauma in my life mm -hmm. um, that led me to, taking Wellbutrin for the anxiety. And I actually spoke to my doctor and I said, I don't feel I need it anymore. And we are on a plan of lessening it each time mm -hmm. we get together. Awesome. So that by Christmas, you're going to wean off. I wean off it because I needed that thinking I was I was off balance and that there was a problem. Mm -hmm. I feel everything, I feel my body, like you said, it's really healed itself. Mm -hmm. It's in my balance, in my body and my mind. It's, I'm, I'm in control <laughs> of my life really for the first time. And I was not, a, wait a minute, I was not a, a basket case of a woman. No, no, right? no. I was a Girl very, Scout leader. Very successful six, family, very successful. awesome family, awesome career. Wonderful family. It was just all about you, though. You just weren't feeling it. And it was always like giving to everyone and then feeling like, okay, just, I can just get by. And giving to everyone and getting through the day and I can just get by. But <clears throat> my mental health is as equally healed as my physical health. Yeah. It, it's been literally just such a pleasure for me to work with you because okay. I know how, just how hard you worked and how much we were together, like talking, com communicating, texting and meeting yeah. every week. And so to see somebody really put in the work and actually achieve what they always wanted is such a such an amazing thing. You know, I it's never, really... ever, ever thought that I would be sitting here with the results. And I have to tell you, you know, when you first met and you were like, all right, well, text me if you have it. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to text him. It's my doctor, whatever, you know. Um, but knowing that the few times that I had reached out and you helped me just calmly look at things in, uh, in a great way. Yeah, we just reframed it. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, when, when we think a certain way, we, we can get into ha bad thinking habits, just like bad physical habits. Mm -hmm. And if we awfulize, we think bad, you know, we we tend to see the worst in situations. Right. And, you know, that's our knee jerk reaction. Then it tends to always pull us back to like the starting point. It's like shoots and ladders. You're yes. climbing, climbing, climbing. And then you hit that shoot and you slide all the way back to, you know, to, right. you know, step one. But you know, it's it's a matter of processing, shifting your mindset, mm -hmm. fixing your underlying physiological imbalances. So that's why we talk about mental health and mm -hmm. building mental health instead of just saying, I'm, I have mental illness. Because, right. you know, the society is just so skewed that either you're fine or you're not. And that just doesn't, that's just not true. Right. You know, 20% of people have mental illness, quote unquote. And then everybody else, it implies everybody else is fine. But we're all affected by all of these same things that you've been dealing with, stress, physiological imbalances, dietary, gut, all those things, and it all works together. And I am amazed at the food choices that I now, I, like I said to you before, I crave vegetables now. <laughs> like Your body is working at a different I'm, level. I have to tell you, I was 35 before I had my first broccoli. My kids, I made broccoli for, and I pretended that I ate mine. <laughs> And now, like, you know, I, 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 I truly crave vegetables. Um, I, my thing is I eat, I move, I eat, I go for a walk. Mm -hmm. And all of this weight is not like I'm hitting the gym five days a week. 
I did not hit the gym once this entire time until last week when I started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now you're going to take it to the next level. I am. Yeah. And I'm excited about the future. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about what I'm going to look like. When we first met, when I first sat here, I cried. Yep, I remember. You had to like go get <laughs> tissues because you gave me a question about like on a scale of one to ten, like number or something. And it wasn't until then that I realized, oh my God, I really felt so broken and felt so little about myself. Um, so a little love for right, myself. Right. And I never thought that I would be sitting here five and a half months later going, I'm excited. I mean, we, I've gone away with my husband. We bought um, bikes. We are now going by spring. He's now coming to see you, mm -hmm. which is wonderful because now my daughter is all of a sudden she is taking care. Like it is amazing how that ripple effect has helped other people. Mm -hmm. um, and we were even dealing with how it, it's a challenge on some friendships that I have, but you know what? It's all yeah. going to be okay. Yeah. Sometimes one door closes and multiple new doors open up. Yeah. But I really appreciate you and it's been my pleasure to be working with you. And I just want to say, can I share this video with other people? And Absolutely. And they will be inspired by your story. Absolutely. I'm, I'm at the end of my day. I look like crap, but absolutely. <laughs> You're the best. You look <laughs> awesome. Thank you.